Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today I'm bringing you guys Q&A Sunday from a nice hotel in Boston. I am currently at the Residence Inn for PAX East 2015 and today we are going to be answering questions from here. Uh, I hope you guys are ready. Let's hop into it. Everybody that left a comment on Twitter and YouTube, I love you. Everybody that left a voice note, I love you even more. It's funny to hear people's voice you know, when you're doing the Q&As and people are just you know, saying, hey, I don't want to thank you, man, for doing this and you know, maybe we can game some time and stuff like that. It's dope. It's so dope. But uh, definitely, you know, I'm going to thank everybody for this success, man. We are three episodes in. It is going great. But I know you guys want these questions. So uh, let's hurry up and hop into it. All right. So the first question of the day comes from Cherish or Cherish Grace. Uh, The question is, what is your cat's name? Now, the reason why I'm going to answer this question is because maybe I should have answered this question in the last Q&A, but the name of my cat is Zebo. Um, the reason why we named him that is because it's like, you know, he's black and white, some like a zebra, and, you know, we just wanted our son to be able to say it when he was that young, so, you know, we just named him Zebo. All right, so the next question is from Darren Bowen. He wants to know if I'm ever going to do giveaways. Well, this Darren Bowen must be new to my channel because I've done a lot of giveaways in my day. Now, as of right now, I do giveaways for Elgato Gaming and Astro Gaming and some other small companies that I do with or am affiliated with. If you want to be a part of any giveaway that I do, You definitely want to follow me on Twitch, and as of right now, I'm setting up something for subscribers via Twitch, whereas though, we can kind of make the pool a little bit smaller instead of me trying to give away one headset a month to 30,000 to 40,000 people. Maybe we can, you know, constrict it down to me actually shipping out something myself to my subscribers. I'm also going to be doing uh, a packet or a package for my subscribers on Twitch. So if you are a subscriber on Twitch and you know you pay the five dollars every month, um, sometime during that month I'll ship you guys out something such as uh, merch or you know sign stuff or you know of course you know guys are gonna get added on PSN, but maybe you know I'll send you uh, PSN codes or you know. Uh, PlayStation Plus codes, so I'll, you know, I'll just be sending out a big package to uh, subscribers on Twitch because of the outstanding support that they show. Now, uh, as it goes for YouTube, when I do giveaways on YouTube, it's usually around the time where new games come out, so you can most likely expect a giveaway from me when the next gen of games come out, such as uh, 2K16, Madden 16, if they're going to name it that, you know, all different kinds of console games so uh you know and maybe i'll have like skin codes and stuff like that and pc games for you guys and you know it'll be a bit like i'll i'll do more and more giveaways but as of right now i'm working on the structure for twitch giveaways because twitch giveaways get outlandish man people being there acting like savages it'd be crazy so uh yes i do do giveaways and i will be doing more more often all right so this next question is from alan iverson He wants to know, is Duke the Killer my cousin? Okay, so uh, I guess to answer that, Duke the Killer is actually my second cousin on my mom's side, second remove because of a marriage that happened. Nah, I'm just playing. Um, Duke the Killer actually, I don't know if we are related. You know, um, our families have never crossed paths. He's from Texas. I'm from Pennsylvania. Uh, The deepest, deep south that my family goes that I know of is North Carolina and that's my mother's side of the family my father's side of the family the deepest that they go that I know of is Maryland so you know I don't know if me and Duke are related you know maybe we gotta find out somehow you know everybody's related at the end of the day right okay so this question comes from Brandon Steverson or Stevenson or something like that He wants to know what are my favorite rappers as of right now. Now, the funny thing is when I think about rappers, I think about lyricists, you know. I don't think about like all that dance music and stuff like that. So I'm just going to read off a few people that I listen to right now that's kind of in my iPod or iPhone, I guess you could say. Uh, Cy Hyda Prince, Big Sean, uh, Tyga and Chris Brown is in here, Wale, J Mills. I've been a big J Mills fan for a long time. Yo Gotti. Kid Ink, Chevy Woods, Quilly from Philly, 
that that rhymed, but never mind. Drake, of course. Paul Kane, French Montana, Nipsey Hussle, B.O.B., um, the whole MMG camp, uh, K-Camp, <laughs> Lil Herb, uh, more or less more quickly, Mike Will made it, like all of his uh, people that he do collaborations with, Young Jeezy, Lil Wayne, 2 Chains, Lupe Fiasco, Vado, um, I got Jalil Beats mixtape in here as well, and I also got every album from my um, homie Carrington that passed away, but uh, as of right now, that's the only thing on my iPhone, and the reason for that is I watch a lot of movies and TV shows, so that's probably what's taking up like all the space right now, like right now I have like a lot of different movies, I don't know if you guys can see that, like see like I got that new Better Call Saul, like I got, I got a lot of new stuff out, so I just be watching movies a lot and it takes up a lot of my phone space. But I hope that answers your question. All right, this question comes from a Drokester, I guess. Uh, he wants to know what kind of job do I have? Okay, this is a nice little detail question that I would like to get into. Um, I'm gonna start from the beginning. Yes, when I was 14, I got a job at Mickey D's. I was in like a work program at uh, Strathaven, and ever since then, I've just been a working man. Like I've been working all my life. It seems like. Like, even before I actually got a job that paid taxes, I was working for my dad. So, you know, I was always, you know, into business and to, into getting money. So, uh, now, um, ever since I was 17 years old, uh, I worked at the Philadelphia International Airport. And I've been there ever since. Um, and the funny thing is, you really don't do much work at the airport. I'm one of those people where when you look out the window and you see the, that guy tossing your bags onto the plane... I'm the guy who brought the bags to the plane. So I'm one of those bag runner guys. You know, I, I run bags from T-Point to the gate and from the gate back to T-Point. I do not work in any bag room. And this is for people that know terminology of the airport. I don't work in a bag room at all. I work at a section of carts that have all the bags that goes to different destinations. And I run those bags to the gate back and forth. I can do other jobs. Like I could work inside at the gate type board flights talk to passengers all day with bad breath, but I choose not to do that. I am a people person, but when it comes to work, it's work. Nobody wants to talk to everybody all day long about the same thing, about their flights being delayed and why aren't they going out and what happened to the plane and how awful of an agent that that person is because their flight got delayed. So that is not me. Um, I'm outside most of the time. So if you're ever at the Philadelphia International Airport and you are coming through F Terminal, make sure you tweet me and maybe, you know, if I'm at work, I'll come say what's up. All right. So this question is from Quandrilis G. I hope I, I said that right. Uh, he wants to know if I'm going to do pranks on YouTube. Um, I currently don't do pranks because of, you know, legal things. You know, a lot of people can get. Uh, locked up for certain things that they do you know for the bigger channels that's on youtube that do prank videos you know maybe that they have some type of deal going on you know they have to get people's consent to be in their videos and you know it's a real big headache for what i do right now because i'm in gaming if i want to step out and you know broaden my horizon maybe i will start doing pranks but as of right now prank videos are not my focus all right, so this next question comes from the Troy Johnson. He wants to know if Mr. Brink Your Ankles, the statue stuffer, or the Superman character best represents my personality in NBA 2K. I will have to say that the statue stuffer is probably the best representation of my character in the form. I'm always hype. I'm always energetic. I'm always looking to just beat a fool down, something like that. And the statue stuffer is the the essence of that you know when i started playing 2k and i started playing my career and you know creative players and all that it was always a 6'9 small forward braids dunking on fools hitting jump shots in everybody's face telling them how ass they were at the game that best represents my uh, personality uh speaking of which the stat sheet stuffer will be out next week so his my career is starting all right so this next question comes from takeshi I guess um, he's asking if there was a new Midnight Club LA game, would I play it on my channel? I definitely would, bro. Definitely. All right, this next question is from, <laughs> this next question is from Classy Coben. He wants to know what my ideal two to five would be running on the rec center. I'm gonna keep it all the way over 100, bro. I'm out there to win these games. I want four seven foot small forward legend threes, bro. 
that's my ideal five, bro. I'm going to just keep it all the way 100. I need them cheesers on my squad, bro. All right, so this next question comes from Clyburn10. He wants to know if I'm a developer for 2K. Man, I wish I was, bro. I'm sorry to say I am not a developer for 2K. I wish I was, man. I wish I would be getting paid a check to build the game, but that is not my field of expertise, bro. I am just a lonely gamer. All right, so the last question from Twitter comes from a 24 Bashir. I'm, I'm hope I'm saying that right, but he wants to know if I was asked to help out on NBA 2K16 by the developers, would I accept? To answer that question, I will have to say yes, I would accept, but for that to actually happen in real life, that means I should have gotten a call about a month or two ago. Because right now, believe it or not, NBA 2K16 is already in development stages, and if they need help from gamers such as myself or people who play the game day in and day out, they would need to get in contact with these people right now. When we go out to these team ups and everything like that, they're basically showing us like the final build before the finished product. And you know, we really just have a few things to say that they may need to tweak in their first patch, not actually, you know, help out and develop the game. So, you know, if, if they would accept me, you know, to come and help out from day one, I would, I would need to get a call at the top of the year. Hey, I'm talking about I'll be watching you on YouTube all the time, bro. And so, if you call me back, that'll be so on point, but I ain't even lying. So, I'm just leaving a message. And if you do call back, that would be amazing. You know, I play 2K all the time on the on the Sunday. It's amazing. Just so, if you call back, that would be amazing. I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looked like he sounded really determined. Uh, I want to thank you for watching my videos. You know, um, I wonder, should I call him back, guys? Should I, should I call him right now? You know what? I'll call him. Why not? Why not? Why not? I'll call him. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Got his number. I wonder, is he going to pick up? Oh my God, he picked up. What? Ah, uh, I got you. Who is it? Yeah. I got I you. I just got finished watching your video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how did you like my video? Oh my. It was amazing. I posted your eyes on D-Rose. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> you don't know what to say. <laughs> Well, look, I want to thank you for leaving me the voicemail. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that again. I, I definitely want to thank you. Make sure next time you ask me a question, man. Got to ask yeah, you a question. I promise. You promise? <laughs> you promise? If you, yes. If you don't leave me a question next time, I'm going to call you again. Well, thanks for watching, man. I hope you have a nice night. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> All right, man. Have a nice one. <laughs> you don't understand, like. <laughs> All right. I promise. All right, bro. Well, uh, he sounded hysterical. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> so, stuff like that. He's been watching you since like 2K13. Um, I had a question. Is it possible to make a second uh, signature shoe on your micro reader? That's all I want to know. Um, actually, it is possible to make a second signature shoe. Um, what you got to do is you got to watch the video that I put out to fix the shoe glitch when you got the endorsement. And um, what you got to do is you have to save the name of your first shoe and write it down somewhere and then uh, duplicate that shoe and rename it something else and then create a new shoe and go through all the steps that I told you in that video, rename it, make your new shoe, do all of that jazz for home and away and then you'll be able to have a new signature shoe and it'll pop up in your commercial and everything. Hope that helped. Oh my barking Carter. When is the next time you're gonna make a UFC video? Oh wow. Um, he wants to know when I'm gonna make a new UFC video. 
Uh, I guess I'll start making uh, like UFC uh, pay-per-view predictions maybe, I guess, or do like some ranked matches or online or something like that, or even start a new career series with a, a made-up character from the subscribers or something. I'll, I'll think of something, you know, if you guys, how many of you want me to start a new UFC series? Um, I'll leave that question like my question in the comment section whoever likes it like if it gets like 100 likes or something i'll know that you guys want it and then I'll, I'll start a new series why not well ipod the question to me to you is uh who's your favorite player on the sixers man let me know i right? peace uh my favorite player on the current 76ers roster will have to be tony roten uh, i like his play style I like the way he can get to the bucket um, I'm mad that he's hurt right now. You know, we definitely need him out there. But uh, yeah, Tony Roten is the my favorite player on the Sixers as of right now. Hey, I'm uh, for a Q and A. I need to know where the hoes at, dog. <laughs> yo, you did not just leave me that message, yo. Okay, so uh, to answer your question, the who's are in every nightclub every Friday. Saturday, Sunday, and sometimes on Tuesdays. So, uh, you know, like Drake said, got the club going up on Tuesday. They be out there. So, uh, I w if I were you, I would go to the club, play the let out. You know, even go in there, buy a couple drinks. You know what I'm saying? Find them. You know, they always out there. I ain't going to point you in the right direction now. I ain't going to tell you. There she is. I'm going to just put you in a pool of people and be like, you better go find her. Where's Waldo? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for watching Q&A Sunday, episode three. Yay, it's a success. Another one in the bag. Oh, my God. I want to thank everybody who asked the question via Twitter, YouTube, and my phone number. Thank you guys for leaving a voicemail. Thank you guys for leaving questions. Oh, my God. I get so many questions now. It's insane, but I love it. Oh my god, I wish I could answer everybody's question, but you know, we got to break it up. We got to keep these videos as short as possible. I know y'all don't want no hour-long Q&As, man. I know y'all don't because I get I, I get at least about, uh, I would have to say, 700 questions per week, man. It's going crazy. Episode 3. Insane. But just to answer some quick questions that I won't be able to answer, uh, a lot of people want to know what's up with this hat. Uh, it was made by Game Helmet. Um, you can check them out on Twitter. Uh, also, my shirt. I know a lot of people like these logos and everything, the stuff that I be wearing. Um, I got this from uh, Nerds Clothing. Um, definitely check them out on Twitter as well. Uh, or just you know, just search Game Helmet Nerds Clothing. You know what I'm saying? Got some nice prices, nice designs. Um, I might get like my my uh, character joint on the hat. You know, wouldn't that be dope to have my character on the hat in this? Yeah, no? Yeah? Maybe? Uh -huh. Okay. But uh, this is your boy IKC signing out. I want to thank everybody for leaving questions, everything like that. If you want to be in the Q&A series, tweet me at iPod King Carter with a question using the hashtag AskIKC. Leave a comment below, yes, on this YouTube video to be a part of the Q&A series, or leave me a voicemail with a question on my phone number. It's inside the about section as well. Yes, I have a phone number down there for you guys. But um, I just want to say, you know, thank you to everybody that's pounded out. You know, uh, high five, you know, just high five. You know what? Come on, just bring it in, just bring it in, just bring it in. Yeah, man, you know, just, I love you guys, man. I love you guys, you know what I'm saying? This is IKC signing out. I'm going to highlight you guys in the next video. Peace.